Okay, so I'm here to show you how to get a bit more out of your video analysis. I'm using the same video that I used in earlier examples, and I've already tracked my ball over many frames, and I've already set my scale here. So let's see here. On my graph, I can show my X and Y position. That's a little bit crunched. I'm going to auto scale. There we go. All right. So in this particular case, I can see that in the Y direction, really nothing is happening. That's because my ball is moving horizontally. So I'm just going to focus on the X direction. Now I could look at the X velocity. Let's auto scale again. There we go. Okay. But I don't seem to have an option for acceleration. And the reason is Logger Pro does not automatically calculate that when you do video analysis. So you're going to have to do it. It's not that hard though. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to data, new calculated column. I'm going to call this X acceleration. The short name is the variable you would use in an equation. And the units are meters per second squared. And we're going to use a derivative. You don't need to understand why. That's just how you do it. We're going to take the derivative of the velocity with respect to time. Click done. OK, now over here in our data table, notice we got a new set of data. That's our horizontal acceleration. So I'm going to put that on our graph. OK, I'm going to auto scale. Okay. Now, this looks like a mess, okay? but look at the numbers. All right. Remember, what Logger Pro does is it fits all of your data as closely as it can, which may sort of distort what's really happening. In general, the accelerations we're looking at are on the scale of gravity. So I'm going to say that my scale should go from minus 10 to 10. We know how big that is. Minus 9.8, that would be free ball, right? So now we can see what's really going on. We've got an acceleration that's on average pretty much zero. And I'll show you how to double check that in a second. It does vary, but not a whole lot compared to the size of gravity. Now, to look at exactly what the average is, I'm going to use the statistics button here. And right here, I get a whole bunch of information. Mean, that's the same thing as average. So our mean acceleration is half a meter per second squared. OK. And then the standard deviation, that's telling you roughly how big these wiggles are. The standard deviation is like one meter per second squared. So I've got an average of a half plus or minus one. So I can easily say, yeah, that's that's pretty much zero with a bunch of error because of how I clicked on things. All right. 